we have, of course, today, our Friday, yes, is our right, day man. where we visit with our great doctors from Rothman Orthopedics. And uh, in fact, today we have Dr. Namdari, who is uh, fantastic, a, bird, a board certified shoulder and elbow surgeon, professor of orthopedic surgery at Thomas Jefferson University. He's an amazing guy. We're here to talk about the Wemby injury. All right. That, it's a weird injury. Right. You don't really think about those deep thrombosis. Right. So do we have uh, Doc on the line, Jules? Uh, hey, let's hey, guys. Talk. Hi, Doc. How are you? Good morning. Doing great. How are you? Oh, what a pleasure, man. What a pleasure. I love having you guys. As uh, weekend warriors, There's <laughs> uh, I, and being a career sports guy, I love hearing about the body and, and – you know how, how to how to protect. I have a, a you know two young athletes, so my mind's always on. And one's a baseball player, right? So elbows and shoulders. So it's always on that mind. And you guys, every Friday when you guys come on, it's a treat. So thank you, Doc. We're talking about thank you. Wendy it's a pleasure today. to be on. Oh, we're, we're, so we're talking about Wendy. Uh, what can you explain this? This is such a u- interesting injury. You know, Shane. Yeah, no doubt about it. It is a um, it is a strange and rare problem. And so what he has um, from the reports is a blood clot in one of the veins that's in the upper arm, almost uh, near the chest. So typically the area where the blood clot happens is between the collarbone and the first rib. So kind of right as those vessels, those blood vessels, the veins and arteries are going from the chest down into the arm. And it's an injury that unfortunately can happen sometimes in people who do repetitive overhead activity. So it's more common in baseball players, but mm. sometimes you'll see it in basketball players. Wow, that's wild. I like baseball makes sense, mm-hmm. but basketball, wh- wh- why is it? Like, how, how would you even suffer that? You know, so there's a couple of reasons why somebody could develop it. Um, one could be genetic factors that put somebody at increased risk to develop a blood clot. So there are just some people that, for unlucky reasons, are more at risk for blood clots. And then there can be some factors related to the, how the body is designed itself. There might be less space between that first rib and the collarbone where those vessels are more likely to get pinched in somebody who's doing overhead activity. So, you know, he's dunking the ball all the time. He's taking a thousand shots. You know, so those repetitive activities can cause some damage to the blood vessel, which can then lead to a blood clot. Somebody who had it last year or two years ago was uh, Brandon Ingram, who uh, right. you know, recently got signed by the Raptors. He, he had the same problem. What's the recovery like? So it kind of depends. It depends on how he ends up being treated. So he'll definitely need to be on blood thinners for a period of time, usually at least six months. And then, the, or sorry, three, three to six months. And then the, the bigger question is whether he's going to need an operation or not. So, you know, if there is an anatomic reason for why he developed this, he may end up with an operation to correct that. But mm. in most situations, athletes are able to return the following year. But, but Doc, is, uh, I was heard someone say yesterday that as long as he's on the blood thinners, he can't do any physical activity for risk of bruising or internal bleeding. Yeah, that's right. So that that's the big reason that people are out for at least three months to, you know, for, with this injury. It's because if he's on a blood thinner, God forbid he falls while he's playing basketball, he gets his head hit. You know, the last thing you want is a head injury that then mm-hmm. bleeds internally. So, you know, that's that's one of the big reasons why uh, players are out for a period of time. Wow, that's wild. Doc, what's your favorite sport? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a football guy. But I love them all. I'm a basketball guy, baseball guy. I mean, I, I like it all. I love you. I love you. Yeah. How about how about that Super Bowl? I mean, amazing, amazing run. I mean, nothing nothing better than that. It Very really, impressive. Yeah, it, it was it was fantastic. Thank you so much for all your work. I, really, God bless you guys. Yeah, you allow My us pleasure. all the to to kind of live our live our dreams every day. So uh, we appreciate you. We love listening to you guys. So thanks for everything you guys do. And it's been, it's been fun. There he is. Wonderful. They're always so Rothman smart. Orthopedics, the best. Yeah. They really are. They're brilliant people. And we, we thank, uh, we love it. I love our uh, partnership with Rothman Orthopedics.